Once upon a time, there was the wheel, and it said... Bane bust. Bane bust. Burp, 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 burp. Watch out. Watch out. Baneling busts can be good. We'll see. I will simply put my faith in the wheel and its process. That's it. This will work, hopefully. Best one yet. You think Bane Bus is the best build so far? Chat knows one Protoss build and many more than seven ways to mess it up. Does that count? Kind of. Yo, 24-hour stream. Welcome to Neuro Subathon. Number three, day two. A subathon is a bonanza fiesta happy party time. Where we are live in streamer jail until the timer hits zero. This is the third time that I've done this. And we have currently been live for 27 hours. I have slept for about eight hours. We have a Protoss. Which matchup do you think is the best for Baneling Bust and which matchup is the worst? Your thoughts in the chat. Every six months you're allowed to watch me sleep. Ooh, pro blocking the natural? Widely considered to be a rude maneuver. You think it's worst against Terran? I think Protoss falls to the bust. To me, the way that it feels is against Terran, Bane Bust is just not a good plan. Against Protoss, it's build order dependent, where for certain Protoss builds, they just instantly die, and there's nothing they can do. And for other builds, it's just a super free and easy defense. And it basically boils down to, did they make a sentry early? Or did they put a stalker in the wall with a shield battery behind? If they do those things, Bane Bust is not a good plan. But if they do a Depths in the wall, the Oracle is away from home. Like, there are a lot of different reasons why the Protoss wall isn't Baneling proof. We'll see. We'll see what happens this time. This Oscar. Oscar the Overlord is going to distract them. Update research pretty early. They could cancel it though. still need to push the probe off a third base location. Even if I don't take this, which I can probably afford to take. Alright. Dirty Overlord. Hot King this. It's party time. <clears throat> I'm gonna make a bunch of units now. Hope you're ready, opponent. Do you think they're ready? Why or oh, why not? We're going. My overlord is gonna scout. This is a distraction. I'm gonna try to pull their vision away from their front wall so they're not thinking about defending the Bane Bust. My Ling speed is nearly done. Two adepts are going in here. They recalled? They know. Oh. 
perfect defense. Completely perfect. Flawless. Not a single mistake in their whole plan. They had exactly what they needed at exactly the right time. That was a complete unmitigated disaster. Nothing about that bust was good for me. I'm awarded no points. And may David Kim have mercy upon my soul. The only plus side here is that they're stuck on two base. And I could get melee. I'm gonna get another queen. Nice stasis. They're playing very well. I'll give them props. They didn't even scout, but I was going main nest and they got a stalker battery. But can we do it with the 50 50? The 50 50. But streamer, what's the 50-50? I will show you. Since the Baneling bus didn't work, there should be probe transfers and stuff here. Nice, a free stalker. How much energy they have on this? There's a sentry. The 50-50. They've been playing very passive so far. Very prudent, wise, and defensive. Nice. More stalkers. You know I still have these, right? The Crushing Agent! Thank you for the five months of support. The subathon will end when the timer runs out, unless Crushing does that. Oh, hello. Defense clap, clap, defense clap, clap. Whoa. Super aggressive. Oh, they are fucked up now. Hey, that's a good comeback mechanic for me. Okay, now I have a ton of zerglings. Plus two melee is on the way. We have stalker, sentry. Cool. Hive is on the way. 
Do you have a fourth base? Why or oh, why not? Man, I need larva so badly. Let's take a fifth base. It's a way to spend some larva. Get an armor upgrade. Oh. Look at that blink. So aggressive. Oh, okay. Nice. Huge baneling damage. Uh, base racing is maybe not the best for me here. I don't know. I guess we can go back. My plus two melee is done. Oops, misclick. An unfortunate misclick. Hey, the plus side is, even though the Bane Bus didn't work, we do get to showcase a perfect wall defense versus it. Because I'm going to show you, they defended this perfectly. And Protoss players should know how to respond to this. So the first thing they do, which I do recommend Protoss players do, is be extremely rude and block the second base from Zerg. It just makes their opener really wonky. And then now I'm going to talk you through how they read that I was going to bust and then how to defend. Because this was pixel perfect. Okay, so they put down a shield battery here and they're making a stalker after the first two adepts. So the first two adepts can harass and then the stalker can defend. And the way that the opponent knows that I'm going to go for a baneling bust is... Well, they don't know, but they're going to take a guess. They do see some lings coming out there. And then they recall the adepts. So this is it. You've got three thick buildings in the front. Not pylons, not batteries. Gateway, Cybercore, Stargate, and a Stalker. The Stalker is pretty hard to break with Banes because it has 160 health plus shields. And then the shield battery behind that would allow it to be recharged. So this was basically a perfect defense from the opponent. They didn't scout that it was a Bane bus, they simply had a good setup. So this is what you need. Stalker with the battery behind, recall the adepts if you see a bunch of links, and then thick buildings on the outside. Very well played from the opponent. Perfectly intuited. Well played.